Hello everyone, this is King LT. This video I will show you how to use this A4 board and you can control the analog output from 0 to 10 volt. So you can drive your LED strip or drive your lamp to change the brightness. You can see this A4 board have two analog output parts. This is ground and this is channel 1 and channel 2. Uh, this is from the GPIO. Uh, you can see our diagram which GPIO you will use. And now I will show you I can use this multimeter, I can test the output voltage. And you can see I can turn on. This is turn on the switch and this is lamp. And the multimeter about 8 volt. Uh, actually we can change to the max. The max is about uh, 9.5 volt, about 10 volt. So you can see I can change the brightness output to the di different voltage. You can see I can change the dimmer and the voltage is down and off. Uh, so that is almost zero. And uh, this is about half. And you can change, change, and change. So we can control its output to the different voltage to control your drivers. Now I will tell you how to configure with the ESP home for the home assistant. Uh, you can see this is a two channel. Uh, every channel you can output a 0 to 10. Now I delete it. I tell you how to step by step. Uh, we just you can uh, delete the card and delete the card and delete all. Okay, now it's empty. And you can see this is our form. I have posted this lesson 88. Right. This is lesson 28. Uh, how to use A4 ESP32 DAC output for 0 to 10 output. This is a config file for ESP Home. So first you just need to add, install the ESP Home uh, plugin and we can delete this. Uh, this is I have already quit. Now is the new because the ESP32, the ESP home uh, supports the ESP32 DAC inset. So this is mainly about the configuration. Uh, you can find this ESP home online guide. Uh, so I can add the device and the name we can KC868A4 and the Wi Fi SSID is yours. Uh, this is a uh, Password also is your Wi Fi SSID and the password, which is ESP32. And the close, and this is complete. And we can edit. And this is configuration. Uh, I have make uh, you just a copy and paste. Uh, so you can copy and paste. Uh, paste. Uh, it's very easy. But you need to change the SSID and the password. And also this is the SSID and the password. This is used for the AP mode for the hotspot. If you not need to use, you can delete it. And also you don't want to use the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot, uh, hotspot, you just delete it. And uh, the mainly is this uh, output. The plan for is ESP32 DAC uh, because we have used this ESP32 DAC. And this is the GPIO. Uh, the GPIO is 25 and 26 we have used for the A4 board. Actually, the ESP home only supported the 25 and 26, uh, channel 1 and channel 2. So you can define the two ID, the uh, one ID is DAC output 1, another ID is DAC output 2. So this is very easy for the output. And you need to create uh, two light because we need to uh, install two light on the dashboard. So uh, the plan for is this one, and the output is just from the output the DAC output one ID, and this is the name, and this is the correct uh, this diagram. And uh, this is as thing as the uh, channel one and the channel two is seen. And just uh, the important is two sections, uh, output and the light, and you just press save and install and install by USB because we have connected the USB cable with the Raspberry Pi. Or you maybe you have not uh, worked without Raspberry Pi, just use your 
uh, PC, uh, such as your Home Assistant is installed on the Windows or Linux PC, is also no problem. We just click this USB drive and next, and it will be download. We just need to wait for a moment and we'll come play the files and we'll download to the ESP32 module. After we download, we need to just add the entity to the dashboard. We just wait because this is output to the logo file. Okay, now it's successful. As you can see, began to write. Okay, after 100%, uh, you can see it began to work. And this is find the Wi-Fi, and this is the IP address for the module. And you can see uh, this is create, create the DEC light. And now it's connected successfully, so we can close, stop. And you can see this is A4, and we can go to configuration and integration. And you will see the for entity ID, uh, this is this is two entity ID uh, is for crit, and this is the light uh, A4 DAC one and A4 DAC two. So we just click the overview, and this is the dashboard. We just edit dashboard, and we can add a card because you want to change the brightness. Uh, we can use this slide and just click, and uh, this is the entity. We can choose this A4 uh, DAC1 and save. And now you can see uh, this is the icon. If you want to add the second second DAC, you can just uh, choose the DAC2 and save. OK, this have create. Uh, if you don't want to create the switch button, you can use this tool. Icon is enough. Uh, you can see I can country it. Uh, this is the voltage. Voltage, you can see I can change it. Uh, change it becomes more. So the voltage is down and change. And the voltage is down. And uh, until I change it to the zero, uh, so almost is zero. So this is for a turn on and change the brightness. Or maybe you will not uh, connect with your lamp, or maybe you will connect uh, a fan speed uh, or pump speed. Uh, so this is how to uh, use this icon and the home assistant to output a uh, different analog voltage from this part. Okay, thanks for watching.